Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over uh, Bitcoin and just the markets in general and um, come to the conclusion that, uh, oh, by the way, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Keep, keep forgetting to say that is that because of this over here with the NASDAQ, guys, that's that long-term trend that's been on since it's top, boom, and it's breaking through that. Probably going to be uh, some shorts that are going to get squeezed. But now with the S&P 500, you have to safely, you could safely assume there's some sort of one, two, three, four, five, three-way move back down, probably one, two, one, two, maybe or one, two, one, two, three, four, five correction into this area. Have to see and probably could be getting out of there. So you can start to safely assume based on that, that that bottom in October was right there for the uh, S&P and uh, same thing for the NASDAQ back in October. It's a uh, bottom right there. Um, if that is the case, then you could probably safely assume too that Bitcoin has bottom. I just think it's in a fourth wave correction right now. What Bitcoin is doing or some type of correction that when the uh, NASDAQ finishes up its area over here, it, it is making some uh, divergence, you know, in this area. And it's going to do a correction. So that'll probably drag Bitcoin down a little bit more. And uh, to where, you know, a reasonable target would be 21,000. But if Bitcoin is super bullish, guys, you have to be uh, aware of lower um, retraces potentially, okay? Um, especially at the beginning of the trend, of a bullish trend. So as an example, 382, um, 38% on a retrace is uh, typical. Let me go back out to a daily. 24 to 38%. You know, 38% is usually the normal retrace. Just as an example, I'll show you if you're going to do a retrace on the whole, say that's the whole third wave. Um, you see 382 is right at the bottom of that other fourth wave, but you have to be aware of 236 can be a two. So I'd be right on top of that wave. So potentially um, is what I'd be looking at. Not to say that uh, Bitcoin can't be uh, messing around in here a little bit, maybe come back down and then shoot off like one more wave or something like that, guys. That is a possibility. Um, so, but I just want to give that guys that heads up with some of these assets. Also, too, here with MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy, finish this off, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Five-wave move, divergence. Biggest, uh, one of the biggest Bitcoin holders. MicroStrategy is going bullish on a correction. If you're a MicroStrategy fan or you trade it, Three-wave move, three-wave swing back down, and then over here, boom. That's where you got to pick up MicroStrategy on a long, guys. So, and just going through the other assets, too, I was trying to uh, put some information. I know this is more cryptocurrency, but the bigger assets, I was trying to relay to people. I said, look, guys, there's either a local bottom on the big boys, like the Facebook, the Google, um, not MicroStrategy. What are the other? Tesla, my, possibly Microsoft. I'd have to take a look at Microsoft, but those look like they're forming, much, especially the Amazon, the Facebook, maybe even the Coinbase and things like that. So we're not 100% out of the woods yet. Um, you want to see the uh, what it's going to do on a correction right here and what's the retrace going to be on the NASDAQ. And then same thing here with Bitcoin, guys. Okay, so um, if Bitcoin is going to be doing a nice retrace for a fourth wave which I think there's a really good shot that you have that, then, um, you know, you start getting into some of the alts that you like on your favorite, uh, you know, your favorite alts. Um, probably your stronger alts, in my opinion, to start this off, guys. So if you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.